I'm pretty blown away by these. Hi, I'm Dumbo Dan from SampleLibraryReview.com, and today we're going to be checking out Mimi Page Light and Shadow by Sound Iron. Last week, Sound Iron released a brand new contact library in collaboration with a sample set from singer and composer Mimi Page. As Mimi explained in the interview, the library is centered around her otherworldly ethereal vocal performances. Ethereal can mean many different things. It could mean light, where it's angelic, celestial, beautiful, heavenly, serene, or it could be shadow-like and dark and haunting and mysterious and creepy. Now, not only does this library deliver legato, staccato, multi-sampled instruments, as well as performed phrases uh, from Mimi's vocal recording sessions, but they also took it out quite a bit further, creating sound design ambiences and drones of a light and shadow styles. There's all these different textures that you can use, both in light and shadow styles. It was so fun handcrafting all of these different ambient drones straight out of my voice, layering them, processing them, speeding up and speeding down, creating different tones so that you don't just have a lead vocal to play with, you have all of these ambient drones. Library downloads as five gigabytes. It is a multi-sampled vocal instrument containing sustains, staccatos, vocal sound effects, as well as a true legato instrument for Oz, E, M, and O. There are phrasers captured at both 100 and 140 BPM, and there are also ethereal dreamscapes for both light and shadow categories with atmospheric effects, pads, drones, stingers, risers, swells, flaws, and clusters. This is a contact player instrument, meaning it's compatible with both the full and free version of contact. It loads right into your libraries tab. At the time of putting these together, Mimi Page Light and Shadow selling from Sound Iron. Special entry price $79. It'll go back up to its regular price of $99, uh, I think March 11th. All right, I've got. Mimi Page, Light and Shadow here. I'm going to be doing a first look video. I'm sharing with you my experience of first opening up the library and playing through it to get a feel for what it does have to offer. Um, I just want to say one thing before we dig in, that the demos for this library are some of the best demos I've heard. I love them. I actually just put on the demo playlist to listen to it while I did some work today. Wonderful set of um, set of tracks there. Let's just go ahead and jump in. I, I want to hear some phrases so I can get to know how uh, Mimi performs. We got a uh, different we got the ability to program a sequence in of these different phrases, and we have a wide range of phrases: angelic, elvish, sad, and miscellaneous. So we're in angelic. Let's just do a few more of these. So these are in E. We've got A sharp, C, D, F sharp, G, and that's a nice range um, for me. Look at this. We've got all kind of breath samples. And 
then we got pitch. Whoa, with some serious control. So the pitch is in the green key switches up top here. And I'm sure you could just MIDI CC it if you wanted to have a little more control over it. Let's listen to some Elvish. Now, one thing I want to do is see just how much verb is on this. So let's turn the verb off. Okay, so we got a really nice, clean, dry sound. And what we're hearing is all verb generated by the effects rack. So we've got the um, ability to select down here. We can change our sample sets with these key switches. See, there's it continues down, so you get all of them. Our individual phases, phrases in blue. And what is our purple one? Mm, I'm not sure. It's a good question. I'm going to have to look that one up. Then you get the, the breaths. And then our root key changes with our green keys up here. Let's listen to some of the sad performances. So I'm a big fan of getting phrase uh, phrases along with multi-sampled instruments just so, so that you can f maybe find a phrase that really works for you, manipulate it or cut it up and blend it using sequencing from one phrase to the next, build your own phrase out of multiple phrases. And then you could go to uh, one of the multi-sampled instruments like the staccato or sustain or the legato and change up so the next part sounds like it's a continuum for continual performance so we'll get into that in just a second let's just, let's do a few more of these sad phrases Then we got some miscellaneous. Uh, let's see. Where are we at? Where's my miscellaneous? <laughs> So these, these miscellaneous, there's only a few samples, a uh, few phrases in 
the first couple. We just did that one, didn't we? Here we go. Okay. So we got the phrases. Uh, it looks like we get different set of phrases for 100 BPM as well as 120. 140, I'm sorry. So I'm at 120 right now. Let's see if these are tempo synced. And the great thing about the instrument is the option. Right here, you can see the playback is natural. It's as performed by Mimi. You can also sync it here. And this should make it so it'll play back. I'm at 140 right now. Now going down to 100. Oh, and it holds up really nicely. Of course, going faster, it's going to hold up. But going down, I'm at 80. Yeah. They must have sampled this super high res, like 96K at minimal, because you do not really hear it breaking up, or at least to my ears, I don't hear that breaking up. Um, and then we've got this variable speed. Ah, I bet it's in this stretch. There we go. The stretch is a separate knob, of course. You can MIDI CC it. That way you can get it to, to perform with your music as you like. Very nice. So on the phrases for 140 BPM, we've got light. We've got some shadow. So breathy and ethereal, just as promised. Yeah. All right. Let's, um, I got a f good feel for the phrases, and I think you do as well. I think we all understand the instrument let's check out some of the multi-sampled instruments then we'll dig into the sound design so we've got uh probably the same thing we've got key switches way down here here they are key switches which will control our articulation so we've got ah And the thing that I noticed right now is there's quite a few uh, round robins. I didn't hear anything like a machine gun effect, which I usually do here on vocal libraries. Yeah, so it's the light Oz. We've got E's.
short ahs. That's interesting because there's a little, it's a little mm, honky. Is that the word? Yeah, haws in the shadow section really does change a whole, change up the whole vocal quality just with a different, um, a different syllabus. <laughs> yeah, these are definitely well thought out for the differences between the lights and the shadows. No, 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 no. how much I would get uh, usage of the nose and the yes, but they're, they definitely are fun. So for the sustains, we've got lights and shadows as well. Let's just start out with these. Okay, so with these sustains, I've got our swell tied to, uh, oh, I don't want to tie it to that, do I? Yeah, that's nice. Just tie it to my uh, mod wheel. Give it a little bit of shape. Now, I could be mistaken, but it sounds to me that um, it's a uh, software, maybe a, a high-end EQ that you're kind of shelving off your high end with that swell. That's what it sounds to me like. So these would be probably better for held notes. Then we just got breaths, soft breaths, mid breaths, and loud breaths. Okay, so now let's dive into our legato instrument here. And of course, I'm going to want some controls here for my... For my swell and my attack, I'm going to cut in a little higher, high, hotter, sooner, and then my vibrato, so I could do something like this. Yeah, so those are the ahs, e's. And we might want to turn our legato volume down a tiny bit, in my opinion. We 
also have humming. And oh. I think it'll take a little bit more tweaking to get um, a completely a cappella vocal uh, with the legato to sound um, truly realistic, but I think it's pretty much there. I can hear with my swell, my vibrato, and even changing your attack, you're going to be able to get something smooth. You just got to find the right balance for each part of your phrase as you play, as you heard it, as I played, it was changing uh, when it would respond uh, realistically and when it would sound a tiny bit programmed. So uh, let's see what we got here. We've got different layers. This is an ambience machine. And I think this one is set up just like a many of the sound iron instruments where you've got some effects controls, LFO, filter, ARP, and then you've got three different layers with a cross frayed between the two. I think I can MIDI CC this fade. And then on this side, you click on the layer, you can see you got airy and soft. And then when we click onto this one, turn it on, bassy and soft. And then fade over. We'll go right in the middle. And then the sub-synth layers, these are different waveforms. So this one's going to be pretty saw-y. And really high. Let's take it down a couple of octaves. Here we go. And for my two cents, I'll start with a sign, a little warmer. Yeah, and um, got the effects rack and all these effects here. But when we take a look at our sample sets, we've got a whole, uh, we've got several different categories. So let's just go just to. Shadows. This is massive. This one instrument is got so many ambient sound design textures in it.
I really like how they've set this up with soft, medium, and loud. So you really get a, a bit of an idea. Pulsing. Yeah, there's quite a few of these. I really love the ones that have multiple layers of notes. the warm sample set. All right, I'm pretty blown away by these. Uh, ambiences. There's so much in this. And I was just playing with one sample set. The ability to start with one layer, morph it over into the second layer. Pretty fantastic. That ambience patch alone could be its own instrument. Truly deep, um, deep collection. Great samples. All right. For the Dreamscapes Light, looks like we get the same engine. A, a new set of samples, Angelic, and oh, this should be fun. Let's check it out. So this should be cool. We should be able to, to morph between different... Yeah, that's really neat. So we're going from uh, our harmonic, our harmonies. Here, I'm going to do triads. And then in the other one, I'm going to go and do uh, a fifth so that I can resolve. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't exactly what I meant to do, but... <laughs> It was an idea. So let's do it this way. Let's do it with the... Oh, I got the same ones, don't I? So I'm getting some phasing. fourth to a fifth. That sounds nice. And then we've got Mystic.
So we got some phrases even on this instrument. Yeah. And then there's the shadows version of the dreamscapes, which have got hunting and horror. So let's just flip through, have a listen to some of these. Minor third. Let's listen to this of the horror the sample set. Oh, goodness. And ghost breath. All right. I am really pleased with what has been created here with Mimi, Light and Shadows. And I hope you have had a good experience here. Sit down with me. Check it out the library for the first time. I'm a pretty much, uh, I'm going to say this ambience patch kind of blew me away. Um, I love the vocal quality, the phrases. I think that the staccato is uh, is really nice. The sustains, of course, will be useful for pads and and vocal textures for chords. Legatos, it's going to take a little bit of tweaking if it's bare. If it's in a mix, I think it's going to be pretty easy to get it to sound very natural. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Were any of these particular NKIs jumping out at you in his Mean to Me page, Light and Shadow. Going to find a home in your template. Love to hear your thoughts. Always appreciate if when you comment below. Like, share, and subscribe. Love your support. Be sure to head over to samplelibraryreview.com for the latest news, reviews, and our weekly deals page.